You talked to Cor about Milan. My sister used my wedding as a business opportunity. I said, don't do anything that Courtney wore to her wedding. So let me get this straight. Kourtney Kardashian is throwing some major shade at her sister Kim over her Dolce & Gabbana collaboration. According to Kourtney, the whole thing is about more than just business, it's about her wedding vibes being copied for a brand collaboration. In the latest episode of The Kardashians, Kourtney spilled all the tea to Kendall Jenner, venting about how Kim was off gallivanting in Milan, living her best life with Dolce & Gabbana while Kourtney felt like her toes were being stepped on. Apparently, Kim had been having secret conversations with the fashion house during Courtney's wedding and then dropped the bomb on her later, saying she'd be working with them on a Skims collaboration. Talk about a lack of communication. And what was Kim's excuse for not discussing the deal with Courtney? Oh, just the fact that Skims couldn't turn the looks around fast enough for the fashion show, so they had to reinterpret vintage D&G looks instead. Classic Kim always finding a way to make it about her but Courtney wasn't buying it. She felt like Kim was all about the dollar signs and didn't even acknowledge the significance of Courtney's wedding vibes. <laughs> Ouch! But it didn't stop there. Courtney also had some choice words for their momager, Kris Jenner. She claimed that Kris never even mentioned the collaboration to her or asked for her opinion. Now, I understand that they don't need Courtney's permission to do business deals, but a little consideration wouldn't hurt, right? It's all about maintaining a good relationship within the family, after all. And let's not forget about the group text drama. Courtney revealed that Chris was nudging everyone to post about the Dolce show, but Courtney wasn't feeling it. She called it unauthentic and refused to fake her support. Now, Kendall relayed all of Courtney's frustrations to Kylie who surprisingly agreed that Courtney's feelings were valid. But she also thought Kim should have gone ahead with the deal anyway. Come on, Kylie, can't you see that this is about more than just a collaboration? It's about sisterly loyalty and respect. Meanwhile, in Italy, Chloe and Chris were busy getting their glam on, completely oblivious to the brewing storm. But Chloe, being this peacemaker she is, realized that Courtney's feelings needed to be acknowledged. And boy, oh boy, things were about to get heated. During a fitting for the runway show, Chloe confronted Kim about Courtney's anger, and Kim was caught off guard. She claimed that she had been mindful and respectful of Courtney, even begging Dolce and Gabbana to push the collaboration back a year. But Courtney didn't know any of this and was fuming. Can you blame her? As tensions rose, Kim passive aggressively gave Courtney a shout out during a toast, calling her the diva of all divas. Seriously, Kim, that's how you address the situation? And to top it all off, Kim declared that their reality show is their therapy and everything will come out on the show. Well, I can't wait for that episode. All in all, it's clear that there's some serious tension between Courtney and Kim over this Dolce and Gabbana collaboration. It's not just about business, it's personal. Courtney felt like her wedding vibes were being copied and she wanted her sister to prioritize family over business deals. Can they work it out? Only time will tell. So fam, who do you side with Courtney or Kim? Let me know in the comments down below and thanks for tuning into the video on the Kardashian drama surrounding Kim's Dolce & Gabbana collaboration. If you enjoyed it, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more juicy celebrity updates. Until next time, stay fabulous. See you in the next video. Bye.